Sophia here from Leapfrog Fight TV and I'm at Bloodline Fight Series joined by your winner via TKO round two. Lee Cook, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Um, obviously, it was a new opponent last minute. Uh, I had a rematch against an old opponent so I was a little bit disappointed that that fight didn't go ahead because I've trained my ass off for the last seven, eight weeks and uh, I really have. So to just go in there now, it was a bit of a different um, the opponent. The new opponent was more southpaw rather than orthodox so obviously we haven't really been working a lot on that but we still got the job done so that's all that matters you did indeed and i mean that makes the win even more great right because you didn't expect that sort of opponent and then you've come out with a tko round two so it must be feeling pretty good yeah to be honest obviously down at eca we got all different aspects of fighters down there so a lot that you come up against you wouldn't have been in, in front of before so yeah just done what i needed to do good so how was camp for you you yeah. mentioned it was really tough was there anything different about this camp compared to maybe your previous ones? Yeah, so I've been concentrating a lot more on my cardio. Obviously, being a big boy, cardio is not always the easiest thing to concentrate on, but I've been doing a lot of running, a lot of sprinting, and also a lot of sparring. Obviously, it was unfortunate. I actually got really quite unwell last week, so I've been battling an illness, but the last few days I've been feeling in tip-top condition. <laughs> I've been feeling in tip-top condi condition again, so yeah, it was good. I feel, I feel good, obviously it was the second round, but I feel like I could have gone for 10, so. Yeah, well, you mentioned you could have gone for 10, so I'm assuming you want to fight again pretty soon? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm always open to fight, so obviously Frank's, it's down to Frank, my coach, but whether that be in four ounces or boxing gloves next fight, that's down to him, so I'm just back in the gym probably from next week, and we just go from there. Go from there. So, what are your plans for this year? Do you want to keep doing what you're doing? Keep fighting? Keep building up your fights, seeing how it, where it goes? Yeah, so I've always been pretty active uh, as a fighter. I normally have two or three fights a year. Um, and to be honest, camp life changes my life, my own personal life, because it keeps me on the straight. Like, when I'm training, I'm, I'm in hard. So I'm out there getting my runs in, I'm, I'm staying more fitter. Uh, I'm not going out on a weekend and drinking with my friends. Like my, my focus is always 100% on my training and, and my fight camp. So yeah, it just betters me for myself as a person as well as a fighter. So I'm always, always happy to keep on tra in training camp and having fights. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with you. Obviously, I'm a fighter myself. I 100% understand how it sort of gives you a focus. It sort of gives you a purpose. And how do you feel like fighting's changed your life? As I say, like it's made me become a lot more healthier. My mental health is, is like... Look, I know everybody struggles with mental health and that. Some people are a lot more worse than others, but it makes me feel a lot more happier in my day-to-day -day life. My productivity in my own life, in my work life, in everything else is so much better. So I can only advise, if you're sitting here watching this now and you're thinking, I want to give fighting a go, get yourself in that gym and I promise you now, it will be the best decision you ever make. Well, listen, you heard it from the man himself. What have you got planned for tonight to celebrate? That's what I want to know. Uh, probably one or two beers. A little burger as well, because I ain't, uh, my diet's been on point, so a nice burger. And yeah, as I say, nothing too strenuous, because I want to get back to, into camp next week, so. No, absolutely. Well, well done. It's been lovely speaking with you, and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Sophia from Leapfrog Fight TV.